Hi, welcome back to my channel Stargate Astrology. Jay Sri Ram. Who is the great saint who brought Vedanta, Yoga and Hinduism to the western countries? It is Swami Sri Vivekananda. Swami Sri Vivekananda <coughs> was a philosopher, was a saint, a monk, a preacher. He was a disciple of Sri Ramakrishna. He embarked on a journey to teach or to educate or to let Hinduism to be known to the Western countries. And he was successful in his maiden speech where the people in the West were amazed by his speech, his wisdom and knowledge. So Sri Swami Vivekananda will be known as a pioneer in teaching and educating Sanatana Dharma to the rest of the world. His work, his research and his wisdom have brought a lot of changes to the world whereby not only, not by conversion, by spreading information about Sanatana Dharma. Let's have a look at the his horoscope. His ascendant is Sagittarius and the mighty planet Sun is in the ascendant itself. So when Sun is in the sign of Sagittarius in the ascendant, it is someone who has blessed soul who came to deliver or to educate people to teach about religion peace and philosophy to everybody who needs it. People mostly are not aware of their destiny and they do not know what is the purpose of their birth in this world, that how you can develop an inner peace within you. So with Swami Vivekananda's philosophy or the study of Vedanta have brought a lot of changes in people's lives, especially in the West. So during his living days, he have opened up many ashram, study center, education centers to provide that wisdom and knowledge to the people who really need it. His moon sign is Virgo and the moon is with the Saturn in the 10th house. So 10th house is about destiny, about Swadharma. It is a area where we call, you came back to contribute something to the world. It is not about yourself, it's about contribution. How are you going to serve the people, what you can give the best out of you to the community that needs it. There is two auspicious planets in the second house, the house of speech, the planet Venus and Mercury. So when you have these two planets in the second house, he was very elegant, very charismatic, very charming in his speeches and all that, very convincing. And that's why he have attracted millions of followers till now. The fiery planet Mars in the fifth house his boldness, his aggressiveness and also his determination to succeed. And the, in the 11th house, the auspicious planet Jupiter is there. He was always within the large circle of network, friends and organization. So, he has contributed a lot to the world. Someone we should be admired and we should be thankful. So thank you for watching my video. Have a blessed day.